these guys who were ordinary people in their own land or wherever they were, and then they went to somewhere mysterious and kooky and crazy, and they became sort of gods there, and they became kings. And of course, it's all a metaphor for colonialism. You know, this idea that like this, the second son who can't inherit the wealth goes off to India or Africa and finds himself a king because, I mean, there's an inherent racism to it all, right? And so what we're doing... Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. And, you know, recently I reviewed Tom King's latest uh, comic book called Strange Adventures. I almost included a, a portion at the end where I talked about Josh Howard, who has a, a comic book out called T-Bird and Throttle that he's been working on for a very long time. There are some eerie similarities between the two projects as far as narration and, and some iconography as far as the, the art and things like that. Uh, I, I didn't have enough time to actually include that. Good things come to those who wait because I talked to Josh himself and he's agreed to come on the channel. How you doing, Josh? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing excellent. You know, I, I really appreciate you coming on the channel and talking about this. You're not alleging that he he's plagiarized you, but you are noticing some eer eerie similarities between your project and his project. Yeah, right. I mean, obviously, I can't prove anything, um, but um, I got a someone on Twitter sent me, you know, a link to the trailer. I think it was Monday morning. I was like traveling, um, so I pulled it up, but I didn't thought, oh, "What is this?" You know. And at first, I was like, "Okay." The more I watched it, I was like, "Oh." Oh, I see. So there's some similarities here. And the more I looked into it, the more eerie it got. So I, uh, yeah, I called attention to it on um, on Twitter. And people seem to, for the most part, agree with me that it does, did seem very eerily similar in a lot of ways. First off, if you look at the covers, you know, it has the hero and <clears throat> there's maybe some graffiti type of thing on, on yours where, you know, there's a they're calling him a murderer, and I believe on the, the Strange Adventures, there's some other things on that cover that's it's kind of similar. But it's yeah. really the narration or the story composition that that really feels very similar to me because it's both stories are essentially a hero in modern times who's getting kind of persecuted, possibly you know for for misdeeds in the past, and it, it it's telling both stories concurrently where you can tell that they're going to connect together at one point. Yeah, I mean, the cover is the first thing I noticed. And obviously, I mean, it's, it's similar in, in what it's you know trying to convey. I mean, the, you know, if it was just that of itself, it would be one thing, obviously. I mean, that's a, but it's, like you said, it's the combination of that with the story, which is, you know, it's about an aging hero who's had, you know, adventures in space. Um, and obviously, not, I know Adam Strange has been around forever. Like, people try to, people come after me saying, don't you know he's in, created in 1958? Well, yes, I know this. This is not about that. It's about, this the way they're telling the story, which is, like you said, it's a, deals with like events in the past that are affecting the present. Or you're telling two separate timelines simultaneously, which is what I did and what they're doing. You also have um, there's a book uh, within the story. There's a book within my story about the hero. You mm -hmm. have you know, yeah, these are that like there's a book signing in Strange Adventures, and in yours there's a like a comic book signing. Yeah, yeah, and um, sort of about the backlash to this book. Which is the same thing that happens in my story. Um, it appears that Adam Strange is accused of murder. Um, the same with my character is accused of murder. There's the overarching theme of like uh, the media and the uh, truth in media. I mean, there's also things that are like smaller that aren't as big. Like you have like you know like his thing with aliens. He has a wife and daughter. Those aren't as big, but you take it as a whole, it creates a, a larger picture that seems really weird. <laughs> Also, one of the key symbolisms in Strange Adventures, there's a picture of Adam Strange with his uh, wife and daughter. Mm -hmm. it, it, I can't tell if it's blood splatter or if it's confetti. I think it is confetti. Like, it's at a celebration for the liberation of Rand, the planet right. that the, the old story is taking place on. And in your story, that you know, there's a key symbolism of, of T-Bird, you know, holding his daughter, which kind of ties in, and, and, it, and it's a shattered picture, correct? Yes, that's right. Yeah, so I mean, um, yeah, when you take the as a whole, it's it's just it's weird. It's very, I mean, there's a lot of similarities. I don't know how to, I don't know how much or how to necessarily um, process that, except to point it out. I mean, I've had been having some fun with it, poking at DC a little bit, because you know it's it's weird, and I, um, you know, a lot of people have said, you know, how quaint that you think that DC's looking at your stuff. Well, I mean, yes and no. I understand how it looks like. But at the same time, we live in an inter internet age. Thing is Twitter. Things are 
it's passed around seen by everybody. I mean, I'll, I can see a meme and call my mom and she can see the same meme, a different, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, and comics is a very small community. And I had the first couple, I had issue zero and half of issue one up for free to read on, um, on my campaign. So like, it's not unreasonable, I think, to think that it's, it's been seen by somebody, but again, I'm not making that direct accusation. I'm just saying, you know, it is what it is. I would be surprised if, if somebody at DC hadn't seen it. Cause to be quite frank, I, I've never met you before today. Mm -hmm. So, so the viewers know that, but I did back the campaign. You know, it is a, that is a solid comic book. You know, I got the digital, uh, I got the digital reward, but the, the art is is good. It, it's certainly more um, old school comic book in, in flavor than than the DC book, but but the art is is very good. The narration's good, and the story is compelling. Hence, why you know there's something similar going at DC. So I would be surprised if someone at DC didn't see that. They're probably uh, keeping tabs on on creators and stuff like that. And you're not a new creator in comics either. No, I've been I've been doing this since. Um... 2003 and i've worked with image i've worked with DC. it wasn't any of their main lines um i did one of their uh it was a vertigo expansion like a, a teen imprint but you know so i have worked over there so i mean like i'm not i'm not at a list but i've been around people know who i am you know probably the most disappointing thing about all this is you finally you've worked at image you know you've had work at dc's vertigo imprint but you you you've got some traction with with T Bird and Throttle, the, the book is finally going to be actually published and available in you know comic book stores and other outlets, you know, because you got to deal with Alterna, right? Yeah. So T Bird is going to be coming out from Alterna um, starting in September. I think it's going to be every every two months because they're going to be part of the eighty page or the eighty page giants. Because T Bird and Throttle, each issue is uh, fifty to sixty pages. So yeah, that's going to be hitting comic shops you know, in a few months and like. This Adam Strange series is, I think, 12 issues, so it'll still be going when T-Bird comes out. So, like, you know, like, I think it's it sucks to, like, spend all this time and building this thing and uh, working on this thing to, when it comes out to have it overshadowed by a very similar story. So, you know, I just want to kind of get out in front of it in case it comes out all the time and people are like, oh, this is just a counterfeit of Adam Strange or whatever, you know? I just want to set the record straight, you know? This isn't like a, a small project for you. you we we, t we talked a, a couple minutes before we started recording, but you've been working on this project for 20 years, correct? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, you know, obviously I've, I'm most known for my Dead at 17 series, but I created T-Bird around the same time back in the late 90s. And it's something I've just been developing over time. And like, there's been several times when it almost came out. Um, right after the first Dead at 17, I was going to move right to T-Bird, but then that a 17 blew up, so we need to start going with that. And then um, had a break at some point. I was going to try it again and uh, got as far as an issue zero, but then the company um, went under, so <laughs> no more ever came out. So it was a few more years before um, I had the opportunity to try it again, and with the rise of crowdfunding being a viable alternative, I, really, I thought um, with the format that I want T-Bird to be in, which is longer size issues and, and things like that, I thought it would be the best way to finally get it out there. So that's what I did. And um, yeah, it's been a long road and something that I've put a lot of work into. So this book is my, it's my baby. It's the one I have my most, uh, my heart into. So, so yeah, it does mean a lot and I'm very protective of it. At the same time, I think despite the similarities, I think it still stands on its own. And I think that when all is said and done, I'll probably have a very different, it's going to probably come out a very different, uh, perspective and point of view than I'm, I would imagine a DC book would. I'm expecting that as well. I think that um, that, that <clears throat> Tom King is, is going to take it in a little bit different direction. But, you know, that, like we, we've mentioned before, there are definitely similarities as far as the narration and, and the composition of the story. There's definitely similarities as far as the, the iconography, iconography, you know, some of the images, you know, as, as far as persecution and, and, and themes of that nature within the book. You know, how are you feeling about this right now? Are you, are you shell shocked? Or are you a little bit in disbelief? Are you pissed? Um, <laughs> uh, all of the above, a little bit. I mean, when it first happened, I was in shock, and I was, I got very, I mean, I was a little bit, yeah, taken aback, and and then I kind of settled into a very kind of a just take it lightly and have fun with it, because I thought, well, you know, worst case scenario, I can just get some eyes on T Bird, you know, 
but I don't know. I, I go back and forth. Like some, you know, some people, sometimes it gets, it gets me down. Um, some people have something, you know, nasty online or whatever, but I don't know. I don't, I guess I don't know how far to take it. If I should just let it be, you know, or if I should actually, you know, continue, bang, uh, you know, banging the drum. Cause it, I guess it's going to kind of just see like what, how it plays out in future issues. I mean, I'm not looking forward to, I don't want to go and set and read them all, but if someone, so if people, if, but if people are reading them, want to send me stuff, you know, they're seeing, I mean, that'd be great, you know, so I can. So you know, what, what has been the reception? You, you have been a little bit cheeky. I, I've seen you, like you said, you've been poking around on DC and stuff like, are you sure this is original? You know, there's, there's a, an interview where, where Tom King was like, yeah, you know, this is, this is a kind of a narration you've never seen in comics before. And you're like, yeah, you've seen it <laughs> it's out there you know yeah, what's yeah. been the reception as far as people are, are has it been overwhelmingly you know people being supportive is it overwhelmingly skeptics look it's overwhelmingly positive and that's what's been awesome and like i i showed it to a few people close to me before i said anything at all i said look at this and tell me what you think and they all said the same thing i kept constantly checking with people like okay should i you know and like yes people have been very supportive and people have been you know, very vocal in my defense, which is, I, I do appreciate. Like I said, there's been a couple of people being, you know, snarky and stuff, but yeah, it's, it's been good. And again, I, I guess I don't know. I don't want people going after anybody necessarily. And, you know, again, because I don't have proof, but um, I don't know. But yeah, it's been encouraging to see people supportive because it's, you know, people who have read the book, my book, and and they, uh, they understand. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I am grateful for all that. So we, we know that you do have a deal with with uh, Alterna Comics and Peter Smitty. Have you talked to him about this? You know, in, in my opinion, you know, Peter is one of the two or three best ambassadors for all of comics. You know, he's always a very positive. He's he's a he's at the forefront of, of kind of trying to to change the way comics are distributed or trying to find new audiences. You know, what 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 has Peter said about this? Um, I haven't spoken to him directly about this. Um, I. Part of me, I don't, this is where I like kind of the struggle of like, should I just let it be? Cause I don't want to, any blowback on him. So, mm -hmm. you know, he's been through enough. He gets enough crap, <laughs> you know, just for being a good guy. So um, I haven't talked to him about that. Works. Yeah. I, I, I haven't talked to him about it and I don't know. Well, like I said, we'll see what plays out. I'm not going to like uh, continue to like make a big deal out of it unless more things present themselves. Uh, so I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I want to make sure that the book stands on its own and that it doesn't I don't really don't want this shadow over it when it comes out. And mm -hmm. if I, you know, continue to make a big deal about it all the way up until it comes out, then I don't think that's gonna be good for anybody. No doubt. So thus far you've actually, you know, you had an issue zero, which is I think it was about like a sixteen or eighteen page uh, you know, comic book that was an introduction to the character, but you've mm -hmm. successfully crowdfunded three, you know, volumes of T Bird and Throttle. When I say volumes are they're about like 55 to 60 pages each. And mm -hmm. you're about to do number four, correct? Yeah, as soon as I finish up, um, I'm lettering three now. Since I get lettered, I'll you know, get it printed and shipped off um, to everybody. But then I plan to turn right around and do book four, which is the finale. And and how far along is that? Is it all scripted or have you even started on the art yet? No, before I crowdfunded uh, the first one, I sat and wrote the script for all four books. I just wrote the, you know, all, all at once. So like it's, I do have a script for it. There's going to be some changes, of course. Like when I said I got to do three, the script changed the most. Uh, just because I always leave for room for inspiration and things that could change. So, uh, but book four is pretty set. I mean, what I plan to happen is still going to happen. So it is written. So it's just a matter of me sitting down and getting it drawn. I know recently there's been a lot of um, consternation, maybe a little bit of, you know, turbulence within the comic book community about, about crowdfunded comics. You know, I did a video recently with Tim Lim uh, talking about how consumers can, you know, protect themselves when looking for Indiegogo and Kickstarter campaigns. You know, ha have you been able to fulfill all of your campaigns so far? Yeah, absolutely. I've fulfilled all of them and um, I've had, I mean, next to no complaints. I mean, I've, I've maybe missed my target month by a month or two, but I've always fulfilled and, um, Done everything I can to make everyone happy, and that seems to be the case. Yeah, I would say, you know, when looking at if you don't want to get burned, I would say, you know, look at people who have a proven track record who've maybe been around a while and know what they're doing. You know, there's a lot of 
people who are doing this for the first time, like um, maybe you've never even made a comic before who are trying this out and making tons of money <laughs> and they don't know what to do once they get it all. And they've never shipped a bunch of books. They've never, you know, had someone had to letter or ink, whatever. So like, and they're having to learn it on the fly and then it ends up being a disaster. So um, there's things to think about, you know, before you uh, back a campaign. Absolutely. Those are a lot of the, the things that, um, you know, Tim and I talked talked about in our video. You know, uh, Josh, I really appreciate you coming on the channel and maybe, you know, setting the record straight, talking about your concerns about the similarities between your T-Bird and Throttle uh, comic book, which will be available Alternate Comics starting in September, you know, versus the Strange Adventures comic from Tom King that just came out or is coming out from DC Comics starting this month. I know you're probably disappointed Hopefully this gets maybe some more eyes on your project and people can 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 go and find it maybe at Alterna. If they can't wait that long, is there any way is there anywhere that they can go and, and find those? Uh yeah, if you missed the campaign, you can go to my website, joshhoward.net. There's a link to the store. I've got um all the books up for pre-order. Um, so you can still reserve copies uh, when they come in from this uh from this new printing. Um so you'd probably get your books around uh, late April, I would say. So yeah, just go to joshhoward.net. You can pre-order and all that stuff. All right, Josh, thank you so much. Is there one last thing you want to say before we wrap this up? Uh, no, just thanks for having me. Uh, uh, thanks to everybody who's been supporting me and uh, I really appreciate it. All right, later, man. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.